Uh, oh wait, look what I got. Somebody Creek mango juice. Let's see what's wait. Let's see what's in it. Cause you know how they these people go. Here's the thing. Okay, ingredients: filtered water, mangoes, cane sugar, citric acid, ascorbic acid. Okay, bottled at Hot Bread Kitchen, 15 Nation Park Avenue, New York, New York, 10029. Oh, that's Harlem. One zero two nine is Harlem. So they say if they say Park Avenue, you got to wow. Uh, okay, I haven't had mango juice in so long. It's got it's not my. I like it. This this seems like kind of a watery mango juice. You know what I mean? I like the other ones. That's you know, I like the ones that I can never open this thing. I have to go back to my childhood. Hold on. I mean, that's what you got teeth is for, to open it up. Did I tell you one time I was traveling? I forgot where I was. I think I was in, I was in the jungle for a while <laughs> in Central America <laughs> and, um, and Belize, I think, or Guatemala, someplace, Belize, I think. And, um, and for some reason, you know, when you travel, you got to have fingernail clippers with you. That's why you're always selling fingernail clippers. But even right now, I need to cut my nails. I'll go back home, take a, another spot, take a bath, cut my nails. But anyway, I actually use my teeth to <laughs> to cut my nails and to file them. Got it, whatever. Okay, so I have some mango juice. Look, here's what we're gonna talk about today. Just real quick. I'm trying to be quick, hold on a second. Let me see if this mango juice is any good. I don't know. I've had it before, it's all right. But it's not. Oh, okay, it's not bad. Okay, it's good. Oh, let me take my Find him to beat it. The V8 semi. I still don't know B12. I still don't know why I'm taking. I'm just taking it. vitamins. Big deal. I'm taking every two to three days. Doesn't matter. Look, hey, here's what I've been thinking. You know, people are freaking out. This is good, but what's happening? I think uh, up until now, everything's been built on like that whole centralized system. You know, so one or oh, one overlord tell everybody what to do. They and that's where capitalism. They keep on knocking people out. So. Only a few overlords, so, and then uh, then then whoever's in charge of them tell them what to do, and they make us do. You know, we all slaves to their you know their desires. We understand but now it's changing because now we got to decentralize. Lots of decentralization. With this decentralization, should come some other uh, realizations. With decentralization, right now, for the virus, should come new realizations. As well as you know, new inventions. I mean, I know uh, 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 a lot of my friends are in. Well, a lot of people I know are in entertainment. I don't know. They entertainers. Come on now, you know, uh, uh, creative people. They don't just sit around and say, "Oh, woe is me." They got to be doing something. Let me get a little little something. Just this. I'm just. I'm going off the side as usual. You know, um, I, there has been uh, the last few years. There's been a lot of because of whatever's happening in Hollywood. You know, with black people. You know. I guess I don't know what whatever's happening with them, but a lot of they 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 having these little little uh, troops. I call them little troops, little things where they put little comedy people are getting together in a little group and they're making little shorts. You know what I mean? Uh, little comedy skits. That's what they're doing. That's what black people are doing. But if you notice, most of all most of all those black people, they don't have a whole lot of feminine stuff happening there. So I'm looking at this stuff. I'm like, What's going on? And then when I've been watching a lot of uh, watching, I've been watching one series called Bones, whatever. But watching some stuff, and I realized that hey, Hollywood's turned real gay. So these folks are reacting to that. So I think what's going to happen, the gay mafia, whatever, have those folks, folks, they're gonna, they're gonna have Hollywood. But this, these films are going to a whole bunch of other stuff. So people are going to find what they want to find, and this old, old model is going to be gone. And, and just to prepare yourself, one last thing. So I, I said I was going to be short. because this, this decentralization is so happy. I'm happy for this thing. You know what I mean? Anyway, back to the point. Here's the thing. You know, uh, I shouldn't do this. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to, look, finances, all I can say to you, I said this long, two, three years ago, right? Um, I know people who don't believe in cryptocurrency, whatever, whatever, just get yourself a Bitcoin wallet. That's all. 
doesn't cause any, at least when I did, didn't cause any. Just get that to prepare yourself because everything is preparation. Now, in fact, we're all in preparation stages right now. I'm preparing for a bun bunch of stuff that I want to do creatively. Um, I don't know how it's going to work out because I'm stuck in the States and without, you know, with my, that, I, I don't know, you know. <laughs> uh, but we do a lot of stuff virtually, do stuff over the internet. I mean, you know, I, I'm still hanging with uh, Liquid Sound Lounge and, and, and uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, with, you know, with Jeannie and Steven and, um, and Reggie, you know, do we, I think we'll come back again on, uh, hey, is it this weekend? Hey, I think on Saturday we have an internet program, Liquid Sound Lounge. Hey, it's, well, it's house music. It's, it's well, weird grooves, blah, blah, yeah. Look up Liquid Sound Lounge. Anyway, it's on the internet. You probably can't find it. Worry about it. Mm. Okay, other than that, that's it. So just, just remember, you know, this is a time of opportunity, all right? But it's your own own um, group opportunity, okay? Forget individuals. Own group opportunity. Not larger group opportunity. Your own little group opportunity. Do what you need to do. Be safe. That's a little message for me. T, on the Patterson's taking the train to the bed. Let you know what I only suspect from a reality. This is an ADOS reality. ADOS. ADOS reality. Oh, you see that there? Do you see that? You see my back? This is my, this is my hat. You see? Uh, I'm Clayton Powell Jr. and Martin Luther and, and Martin Luther. I'm Clayton Powell Jr. and Malcolm X. The reason why I like this button particularly is because you have a, um, if you're going to call Adam Clayton Powell Jr. insider in the government, and then you have Malcolm X outsider. You know the movement versus the real. Thing. Everybody says says um, um, what do you call that? Uh, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. No, no. The real dynamic was you had you had in the government. You know, making policy. Adam Clayton Powell Jr. and then you had. So, so outside, and that's, that, I guess that's we, 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 uh, one of the things, since we're in a political season, really you should try to you, you get people in this low level that you can, because they're going to eventually rise up and be beholden, I don't know to, to who, you know, they usually get bought out, but right now, I know we just went off, just, uh, um, now it's time to be politically active. What I want to look at is like, a lot of times when you register to vote, it's so you, it's so that you can be, be part of a, a full citizen as far as in the, the uh, judicial system. In other words, you know, you can sit on juries. What's going to happen now? They're going to have virtual juries? I don't think you can do that. Wow, trials and stuff like that. This is super interesting. I got to look into that. Anyway, talk to you later.